Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are here. If you're new, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if you have been with me for a while, why don't you go ahead and just like this video because we love to talk about relationships around here. And that is exactly what this video is going to be about today. So a couple days ago, I received a message that kind of sparked something in me, and I just have to get this video out today. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, and then I'll tell you guys just a little bit about the topic, and I just want to encourage someone. I have no idea how many people are in this situation, but I wish that one, when I was in this situation, that I would have had a, um, like a really strong Christian community and that I would have been more aware of certain things. Well, I remember in the past being in a relationship where I was in the relationship and in my heart, I felt that this relationship was one of the best relationships that I had ever been in. However, when I was in this relationship, I began to have this hunger for the Lord. And that hunger just, it became strong. I, became, I began to feel curious about the things of God. I would read my Bible. And there was this shift that happened where I really started to feel uncomfortable with having sex before marriage. Like that was the thing in the relationship that I was like, this has to stop. This needs to change. Now, when I brought this situation to my significant other at the time, I believe that because his heart wasn't fully into the things of God, he was not able to be in agreement with me. So now this thing would become a fight. It would become a, a like a level of like contention in the relationship. So basically what I'm saying today is that if you're in a relationship right now, or maybe even in the past where the person that you were with was basic has basically told you they can't abstain or they've shown you that that they can't abstain from sex please run fast please run fast and i want to tell you do not settle i want to tell you don't settle because one god has something so much better for you and two you know i could come up with all the scriptures about your body being a temple of the holy spirit which I truly believe that it is, it really is a temple and that you should respect your body and your significant other should also <laughs> respect your body. So I just want to tell you that your decision to chase the Lord will sometimes cause you to have to lose people. It will sometimes cause you to have to let people go and that is okay. You know why it's okay? Because your salvation is one of the most, I'll even say it's the most important thing in this life is that when you are six feet under, under that grave, that you get to meet the King of Kings and you get to spend eternity with Him. And it's things like this, it's decisions like this that you make for the, the long run that have an effect on your eternal life. So the thing about having sex before marriage, it will catch up with you. It taints your spirit. It taints your walk with the Lord. It taints how you can even hear from God. The level of deepness that you should go into with the Lord and the level of intimacy that you should be able to go into with the Lord, will there will literally be a huge blockage because you're still having sex. If any guy is pressuring you or making you feel bad for making that decision, then I would run fast. And this will be your, <laughs> this, I guess this will be a little warning to you. I would really, really run fast. I want you to know that you cannot change him. Only the Holy Spirit can do that work. And because you are not married to this man, that you're trying to force the relationship with, you're trying to force things with this guy, it will be very hard for you. It will get very, very difficult for you because you're not under, under the covering of God. When you are married, there is a covering. When you are not married, there is no covering. So now this leads into so many issues such as in, uh, depression, anxiety, hopelessness. And and you, you are giving a part of yourself to this person that is not even your husband. But I just want to focus on that point of 
any man who is telling you, I can't abstain. Baby girl, that is your sign. Any guy that is showing you he can't abstain um, and he's been vocal about it. If he's been vocal about it, then let that be the red flag that sends you running home and sends you running to the feet of Jesus. Be thankful. And I want you to know, don't allow pressures of family, the pressures of seeing your friends get married, the pressures of, you know, social media and, and, and society and them putting time limits on you. Don't allow, don't allow those things to, to make you feel like you have to get married today. Because when you rush, you start accepting things that are not for you. You start accepting things that God didn't have for you. You know what I'm saying? Like there are women and I, uh, and you know, if that's you, I don't want you to feel ashamed. God can redeem things. But there are women that feel that they'll just marry this guy, even if he's not leading me in a godly way. I, I'm going to marry him because the, t the time is clicking. God has more for you god has better for you so as you pray and as you wait on the lord trust in him that he will bring you someone that will lead you in the way that that christ would lead you that is what we need we don't need pe we don't need um boys or young men that are going to lead us into the bedroom time after time like come on like lead me into let's read the bible let's go to church let's discuss scripture and let's have fun let's honor god together like that is cool it's not cool to to violate your body it's not cool to violate um what god has has the commandments that God has given us, that only leads to destruction, it leads to confusion, and it allows the enemy in areas of our life that is not needed. So I just want to encourage you guys in that. I wrote some things down. Um, and the other thing as I want to say is like, don't make excuses. Don't make excuses for yourself. Don't make excuses for him. Do what God has said to do. And I will say like, if it's hard for you to abstain, one, pray fervently. And two, get an accountability partner that is older than you, mature in the faith that you trust. And if you can't find one, pray for one. Ask the Lord to bring those people into your life that will help you help walk you through this struggle. I think the most important thing is a person's heart, their intentions to want to live for God. And so, yeah, my prayer for you is that you don't end up with somebody that is leading you on a road down to hell. Or, you know, I know this 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 topic might seem harsh and it's a little bit different from what I do, but I think that I struggled with this a lot and I wish that more people had talked about it or I had more people to talk about it with and people would have just been straight up with the topic. Another thing is like, I know that these days couples want to live together. I think that is between you and the Lord, but if living together with this man that is not your husband sleeping in the same bed is causing you to continue to have sex with them boo boo you gotta go you have to go you have to go like bye bye like we don't need to do this we don't need to do this i get it maybe you have a situation where you don't have money you don't have anywhere to stay i get it but if that is causing you to now you're you guys are having sex all the time or you guys are crossing boundaries it is not worth it it is not worth it like your life like i don't think people realize how much a lot of sins affect us i'll say that but this is this is this is a, a thing that it just causes so much chaos and when we end up Okay, let's say, like, say you decide to marry this guy, and he told you, he, he said that he doesn't want to abstain. So that's, that's going to follow you in marriage. 
you need someone that's going to lead your family, that's going to lead you in the ways of God. If he doesn't even want to lead in this area of purity, how is he going to lead you, lead you and your family? Your destiny is at stake. Your salvation is at stake. The things that need to be accomplished through your life all of that will be at stake because you don't have someone who hears from the Lord, who obeys the Lord leading you. And I just feel that we need to marry good leaders. We need to marry people that will listen to the Lord and that don't allow their conscience to be violated. Um, we need those people. We need those kind of men to lead us and those men are available in the name of Jesus and I pray that that will be your portion do not settle I could go on forever but if you guys want a part two or something or you know just continue on this topic about sex before marriage my experience how it has affected me then you guys comment down below like a, a white heart at the bottom of this video and we will do a, a part two comment down below a white heart and i will do like a t uh, maybe a part two and maybe you guys can ask questions and stuff like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on hope you guys have an amazing day i love you guys always bye